Somewhere in the midst of researching the haw eaters, I stumbled across a list of the dozen or so manufacturers that were operating in Owen Sound around the time that George Amer and his family were living there in the mid-1860s. That list included many of the sorts of businesses you'd expect to find in a burgeoning 19th century Ontario port city. There was also a curious entry for Sloan's Melodeon factory. Part of what piqued my curiosity was the factory's name, since a settler with the surname of Sloan figured prominently in the circumstances surrounding the murders of William and Charles Bryan a mere decade later. Some moderate detective work eventually ruled out a direct connection between the man and the instrument maker, but not before it occurred to me that I had no idea what a melodeon was or why such a thing would have been manufactured in Owen Sound. Though relatively unknown to us now, melodeons, which were also known as cottage organs or harmoniums and pump organs, were a popular form of entertainment in the mid to late 19th century and came in many shapes and sizes. Compact portable versions tended to look very much like accordions, while the large parlor varieties were designed to look like pianos and were played by pumping a pedal that sent air through the instrument's brass reeds. Of the roughly 60 manufacturers in Canada, most were located in Ontario, including Sloan's Melodeon Factory, which flourished in Owen Sound from 1865 until it finally closed its doors in 1889. Although I have Annie Amer learning to play a melodeon in the Haw Eaters, I don't really know that her family ever owned such a thing. However, it seemed like exactly the sort of frivolity that a recently moneyed family in that time period would splash out on in an effort to set themselves apart from neighbors who could barely afford the necessities of life. <laughs> 